the AWWL Original Big Time Wrestling. You're going to see tag team action this week involving River Rock with handsome Johnny Bradford. Plus, Super Lover Man puts the Midwest Heavyweight Championship on the line against Cecil Cerveza. You're going to see the undefeated world's most powerful wrestler, the Viking, in action. Across the ring from him will be the unusual Masked Demon. We're going to see a new feature in the All World Wrestling League, the AWWL Roundtable, as Travis hosts Whip Dog Johnson, AWWL Heavyweight Champion Rusticon, Lobo Brown, and Cecil Cerveza in a roundtable debate. We'll have an update on recent situations in the AWWL involving Serenity and Brandy West, as well as the masked man that we saw interfere in the championship match. Let's go to the ring. All right, we got a tag team match up here. This should be one great match. I keep butting in, Travis. I'm sorry, but I up and sit right next to you. Oh, this is going to be an exciting match. Yes, you're right on that one. We got El Toro. El Toro and Tommy Johnson. Mr. Primetime Tommy Johnson. River Rock. Former tag team champions here. They're accompanied by that weasel. I'm, I meant uh, manager. Handsome Johnny Bradford. Oh, wow. Oh, now he's just mocking El Toro. El Toro wants to talk with you during a couple matches. He wants to come on talk to the speaker. I don't know when you, maybe you can get him Oh, we can squeeze him in. All right. What is the flag deal? Oh, oh gonna... he's just doing a mock him. Oh, oh come on. Oh, jeez. Mocking him like El Toro's a bull. Why is El Toro going for that? Oh, just oh, look at this! Ah, oh, El Toro taking advantage of that. Whip to the ropes. A little dosy do there. Oh, he got him! Oh, and down goes El Toro. A oh, knee to the face there. Hot stuff, Anthony Rivera. Quite a wily uh, veteran here in the AWWL. Whip to the ropes. And down goes Hot stuff, Rivera. Toil here. Working on the neck. Oh, reversal here. On the Hot stuff, Anthony Rivera. Twisting that neck. Just like a corkscrew. Plexus there. Tag made in. Rick Ragnarok. Mammoth man here. Oh, wow! What a chop. I think El Toro's gonna have a red mark here on that chest. Oh, now look at this. Using those hands to choke El Toro. Referee Butch Cassidy. Inform them that he will dis be disqualified. Five got on to look at this again. Got him in a chokehold. Ragnarok now just stomping on El Toro. On the hands across the throat. You can't do that. Look at now, Ragnarok grabbing the horns of El Toro. Using those horns. Oh, look at this, El Toro bumps it back. And again, and again. Oh, that massive forearm there by Rick Ragnarok sends El Toro down. Oh, and a big elbow by Rick Ragnarok. Tag made in the hot stuff, Anthony Rivera. These two gentlemen know how to work as a team. Oh, hold them down, oh! Give me a break. I 
find all our Facebook fans on facebook.com slash my WWL aren't happy with the antics of uh, River Rock here. Match continues. Oh, look at El Toro bouncing back. Ooh, whip to the rope. Oh, no, reversal. El Toro got planned here. Now whipping uh, Rivera down. Down goes El Toro. Oh, nice leap. Oh, and down goes Hot Sub Anthony Rivera. Nice drop kick, and out goes Rivera. This manager, Hot Sub. Manager, excuse me, handsome Johnny Bradford telling hot stuff. Rivera, it'll be okay. Oh, like trying to fan him off. Please tag me in now. Run time. Tommy Johnson in. Rivera now saying he's going to go tag Rick Ragnarok. Winner of this match, I understand, is. Uh, going to be uh, viewed a little bit differently in regards to uh, those uh, loose up tag team titles tag made in now. Here comes this Goliath of a man known as Rick Ragnarok. Nice lock up here. Both men test the strength. Oh, Ragnarok with those thunder arms. Those oak trees for arms. Whip to the ropes here. Nope. Stop them. Oh, just non stop hitting. Prime time. Oh, and down he goes. Oh, look at that. Those long oak trees of an arm there. Referee warning Rick Ragnarok. He'll go after the throat here. Oh, now an elbow to the back of that neck. Oh! Two more times. That's not going to help that back of the neck there. Whip to the rope. Oh, nice body press. Oh, again! Down goes Rick Ragnarok, picking up the big man, and oh my gosh, he slammed him! Prime time! Definitely not a pushover. Oh, nice shoulder block there. Down goes Rick Ragnarok. El Toro in here. Gonna do some uh, double team in action here on Rick Ragnarok, and hey, you know, turn about this in fact, fair play with the ropes. Double elbow there. El Toro, the Lego man. Now El Toro stretching Rick Ragnarok. This hot Jackson crowd here, they like what they see. Oh, a little slap to the face there by Rick Ragnarok. Now he's working on the mask. Breaking up the eyes. Nothing legal about that. Oh, nice boot. What you got here? A steady suplex. It down goes El Toro. Could be a three count. Oh, nonchalant cover. Just two. Referee warning Rick Ragnarok. Legal tag made in now. Here comes Hot Stuff Anthony Rivera. Whip to the ropes. Oh, and a double elbow. A spinning elbow there. Oh, the knee now. Could be a three count. Got the leg hooked. The double.
little suplex there. Oh, a little taunt there by Rivera. Could be a three count. No, just two. Oh, block there. Oh, look at this. Toro winning a test of strength with Rick Ragnarok. I think I've seen it all now. Oh, Ragnarok down. And again. Ragnarok. Yes. Oh, and down he goes. Could be a three count. One, two. Crowd chant for him. Four arms to the back there. Fair here working on neck of El Toro. That's three warning him, watch that throw. Take it into uh, hot stuff Anthony Rivera. to the throat there. Looking up El Toro here. Wow, nice fisherman suplex. He's got it locked in. One, two. Rivera saying it's over. I don't know about that. Crowd wanted Tommy in, I think. His partner, El Toro, wants in. Tag made in now. Rick Ragnarok. El Toro like a sack of potatoes at the moment. Oh, nice duck. Oh! Double clothesline. Both numbers of River Rock here. Feeling the brunt of that one. Oh, it tag made into Tommy Johnson. Johnson, oh, cleaning house. Wow, nice spinning slam there. Picks him up, and down goes Rick Ragnarok. Oh, what's he got planned here? Oh, a double noggin knocker. Out goes Rick Ragnarok. El Toro here. What's this? What's this? Oh! Spin, spin, city goes Rivera. And oh wow, both men outside here. Almost landing in the uh, announcer's table. We got Tommy Johnson. We got Ragnarok, River Rocks. Falling apart here. Wow, what's going on here? Here, pandemonium. Johnson trying to bring it in. Red Rock. Oh! Spin, he blocked it. Could he three it this? Welcome to uh, the first edition here of the Wrestling Roundtable, and uh, we're going to kind of discuss uh, some things going on here in the AWWL. And uh, gentlemen, I'm hoping we have a civilized conversation here, so uh, I fingers crossed on this one. And I don't know what you brought him in here for, but it's whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Do your well, thing. Man. You're always doing some crazy, but do your thing. We're bro. doing this uh, equal parties here. Yeah. And okay. I, I understand. You know, everybody doesn't get along, and uh, like I said, I, I want to make sure here that. Uh, or at least let's try to have a civilized conversation. And uh, one of the first things let's let's talk about is we're now in uh, 2012 and uh, 2011. Um, what do you feel is your biggest accomplishment? What was 
Well, let me go first, because he don't even need to say nothing, man. My biggest accomplishment, AWWL Heavyweight Champion, two-time AWWL Tag Team Champion, bro. Yeah, I'm looking dead at you, dog. That's my biggest thing. Yeah, Whip done did other stuff, TV, all that don't matter. My biggest thing, I'm the one that brought AWWL Big Time Wrestling in the 2012, bro. Well, who's wearing the belt? And who failed to win the belt after I beat him time after time after time? You don't ever bring that up, do you? No, man. That's my biggest you have, you have beat me fair. is have whipping you, you as the dog that you are. Have you ever beat me fair, though? Tell, tell everybody that. Tell everybody I that. I always beat you for the one, okay. two, okay. three. Okay, I just told you. Why did you bring him here, dog? Why did you bring him here? We're trying to have a civilized conversation here. And, okay, you know, okay. I, okay, okay. Equal parties, and uh, you know, I, I, I don't want any uh, bias involved here. And uh, Rastakhan is, in fact, our heavyweight champion. And, and uh, you know, he does have a right to be here. As, as well as uh, these other gentlemen. Other than all the bickering going on about 2011, 2012, I said it last year, 2012 will be the year of Cecil Cerveza. I'm gonna prove to AWWL Big Time Wrestling that Cecil Cerveza is the most exciting pro wrestler. Oh boy, that sounds good. All that sounds good. I'm glad you're telling everybody, but understand this. You're a good new kid. You're a good new kid, but I'm with dog. Everybody know what's my name, brother. Everybody, all the respect. Like, this is low you don't even say nothing. Oh, I, I don't even know why you got here. Oh, you shut up! I'm the champion, and my voice counts. It doesn't matter if you're the champion or not. My low brow, low brow brown here, uh, gentlemen. Let's let's get this thing going. 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 Let's get He's right on it that. doesn't matter. He's about over 40. Though. My accomplishment is that I stepped in that ring. I got my feet wet. I've I seen old my... ladies step in that ring. That doesn't mean anything. You gotta have gold to have a voice in this business. That's about the best thing you don't have. Say. That. That's about the best thing matter say. if I have gold or not. Well, boy, don't 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 worry about him. Like I said, Whip Dog roster 2012. I'm taking your belt this year, dog. I'm telling you that. I have nothing else to say. I've heard that before, and you failed every time you said it. Two so I have no doubt it won't be the same this year, too. I'm taking your belt, dog. It's two doesn't matter if you take this belt or not. Y'all worried it's about Big Bear and Y'all worried about all this. Oh, 2012, this. Oh, belt this, belt that. Well, you got a big man over yourself. Seats of the Vegas going to be lifting up higher and higher to where you two will become nothing but an understatement. Now, Rastakhan, you know, uh, uh, you're going to be lifting up higher and higher to where you two will become nothing but an Now, Rastakhan, uh, you are the champion. Yes, and, Who uh, is this kid, yes, man? Today, Where did he come Mr. from? Mr. Cerveza here. And, uh, That's a great name. He, he is welcome to be here. And uh, Rastakhan, you know, being the world champion that you the are. The best world champion. In, in your own words, yes. Uh, who would you uh, deem a worthy contender to uh, face you for that heavyweight championship? Well, definitely not Whip Dog. Because oh, he has to earn him. You can't just lose a belt and get a reshot. You're over here calling me the new kid on the block, right? See, Surface has been in here for seven years. Been doing this for seven years. Working my butt off for seven years. You keep saying this, that, this, that, watch. You won't even see it coming. See, Surface is going to rise up the ranks of AWF. You, 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 <laughs> you're absolutely right. I'm not going to see it so, seven I years. Have Where have you been at? I have all the respect. Where have you been at? I haven't seen you. I'm looking. I ain't seen you for seven years, bro. Wisconsin? Indiana, this whole company is because of me. This whole company is because of me. It went to Seek, Bobo in Brazil, the then past. Whip Dog. In Seek, the Bobo past. Brazil, then in Whip Dog. The past. Nobody Seek else. Seek is the future. I have all the respect in the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're wrong oh, there. Oh, See, that's that's what what hey, 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 hey. First of all, my name is Harlem Jackson. And I came to the AWWL. <laughs> Never mind what y'all are saying. I came to the AWWL to for one thing only, and that not, not is, to get to no, 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 what um, Mr. Johnson said earlier was that, you know, it went from the Sheik, uh, Bobo Brazil, and... Then Whip Dog. And then Whip Dog. That's and, it. There's nobody else. And we do have 
there is a poster out there, one of our AWWL posters featuring that, so yes, that is justifiable. Well, you gotta understand, that was oh the past. This is the future. The future of Lobo Win a match, dude! 2012. Win a match, dog! I will win a match. <laughs> Why do you wear a mask? You're not Mexican. Are you just it's ugly? Alright. Mr. I'm a bodybuilder. Okay, Do you see mirrors in the ring? No. No need to be derogatory here. No. All right, we are out of that time. Thing was kind of Thank fun. you, gentlemen, for your for your time, and uh, we'll join you next time on the Wrestling Roundtable. Here. Recently in the All World Wrestling League, we saw a tense situation involving the ladies' championship match between Randy West and Serenity. Right now, let's take you to the closing moments of that championship match. Dan starting to rally, giving Randy West enough energy to make another comeback in this brutal, anything goes, no disqualification match. Randy going high, going low. Serenity might have had the win knocked out of her with one of those blows. And it appears, from my vantage point, is Serenity is bleeding from the mouth. One of those hard elbows or forearms did its damage, cutting right through the lip of Serenity. And the referee is taking a look. He asks Serenity if she wants to concede the fall, but Serenity says, absolutely not. There is too much on the line in this match. Too much on the line. The ladies' championship. Serenity putting the champion up on the turnbuckle. She is going for it here. And Randy West is in a very precarious position up on that buckle. Serenity firing away at Randy West, who has absolutely no defense for herself up on that turnbuckle. Fighting for all she's worth, but Serenity bringing it down. Oh my gosh, a superplex. Both ladies hit hard on that mat. The referee applying the count, both ladies are down, barely moving, Serenity kicking her legs, but only out of pure instinct. The referee up to seven, eight, neither lady moving, the damage has definitely been done from that superplex, the bell rings. The update that we have for you is that Serenity and Randy West were both badly shaken by that superplex off the top rope. However, fortunately, neither lady was seriously injured. In fact, immediately after the match, Randy West, the champion, actually challenged Serenity to a rematch that we will see soon. In other news, the world is asking, who was that masked man who attacked Harker Dirge with a chair during the championship bout with Rastakhan, just when it looked like Harker Dirge would become the new AWWL champion? Rastakhan, taking advantage of the damage done by the masked man, taking out all of his fury on Harker Dirge in an attempt to injure the challenger. However, Tim Horner Jr. and Whip Dog Johnson out just in time to make the save. Let's hear from Whip Dog. So we got a masked man running around AWWL now, huh? Hitting people with chairs like he crazy. All I know is I just got done choke slamming some clown and Tim come get me because somebody jumped on Dirge. Now I done ran out there. Now first of all, don't get it twisted. Me and Dirge... No, we ain't friends. I ain't calling them to go to the squadron picnic. We ain't talking on the phone, nothing like that. But one thing Dirge did do, he took me to the learning tree. We had a few last year, and he beat me like I ain't never been beat before. And I respect him for that. And because of that, Dirge, I told you a long time ago, homie, I got your back, dog. But see, it ain't even just about Dirge. It's about AWWL. This guy comes in with a mask, <laughs> And he wanna just jump on people like he don't know what's going on, like he's crazy. Well, see, it ain't about to happen to AWWL. First off, dog, you so tough. You're so tough. Why you wearing a mask, bro? Take the mask off, homie. But let's be honest. Yeah, I know who it is. What is it, Rick Ragnarok? You mad, dog? You mad because I beat you for the tag titles? That's what it is? Or, or, or is it you, super lover, man? I heard you like to change up. I heard you like to dress. 
But that's not my business, you know. Nothing wrong with that. But I heard you like to dress up a little bit at night. But you know what? It ain't no jokes, bro. Because like I said, AWWL, I'm going to make sure I find out what's going on myself. Ain't nobody about to run out here like they crazy with a mask on, beating up all the superstars. Somebody trying to make a name for themselves. But if you want to make a name for yourself, step up to the plate. I'm Mr. What's My Name. I call myself Whip Dog every single day. You know that. The people know that. Show yourself, homie. Take the mask off, bro. But you know what? Don't even worry about it. Next week, right here on AWWL TV, I'm going to come find you. You ain't got to try to sneak me from behind, bro. I'm going to come get you next week on AWWL Television. What's my name? Whip Dog. Meeting the mass demon, the undefeated Viking here. We got the Viking meeting this mass demon from parts unknown. Oh, down goes the mass demon. I think he bit off a little more than he could chew here. The one defeated hasn't lost a match. I've, I've watched how many matches these guys have watched. Oh, it's over 92. Oh, a big slam! Who is going to be able to wrap with this guy now? Super Weapon Man here had a few a few days ago in another city, but it ended up in a, you know, it's crazy. Oh, he right, picks up the demon and down he goes. Who's going to beat this guy? Throw him around like a, you know, who, who, who do we have? Oh, it's going to be tough. Could be three and it is. Viking remaining undefeated in the All World Wrestling League. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, the Viking. Wow, he had that big hammer. Five pounds, John Irish. And his opponent from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing 243 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Bulldog John Kent, along with his manager, pretty boy Floyd Creechman. Floyd Creechman always exhibits pandemonium when he comes into that ring from the crowd. Now the jackets come off. We'll wait for Al Thomas, the referee, to give us the cue for the bell. We'll get action underway here on Professional Big Time Wrestling. Pretty Boy Floyd will have to exit the ring, however, before we get action underway. I don't believe Al Thomas will allow him to be in there. Now he makes a few comments to his man, Bulldog Don Kent. 
crowd would like to have some action. And I don't know what the delay is uh, in the ring, but uh, we're, we're, we're waiting for Al Thomas to uh, ask for the bell. Now he asks for it. We get it underway. Now he'll tell Pretty Boy Floyd to get out of that ring. Bulldog Don Ken against John Irish from Atlanta, 285 pounds. Right into an arm lock by Irish. Pretty boy Floyd Creechman standing at ringside. We'll have a few choice words to say. Right now he's very happy with what the Bulldog is doing in there against John Irish. That was a fist right to the forehead, or right to the jaw, rather, of uh, John Irish. Now he's back in his football days. That's the way you take out a tackle or a guard. See what Ken is going for now, holding on to that front face lock on John Irish. Back up against the turnbuckles. Look out. Irish wants to give him a big one right in the midsection, and he does. Puts in another one. Elbow smashing to the jaw. Arm drag into the turnbuckles by John Irish. Fist right to the head by Kent. Throws his head into that top turnbuckle. And now pretty boy Floyd Creechman turns around, faces the cameras and smiles. I believe at this point, Kent can do whatever he wants to do because Irish has been hurt. He could get a victory and get it very quickly. Let's see if he does that or not. Now the crowd starts to barking. Bulldog Don Kent does not like that. Normally breaks holes if it gets too loud. Now the referee asking Irish if he wants to give it up. Front face lock applied tightly by Bulldog Kent. Kent. Don't forget, fans, that the Sheik will be along a little bit later on in a videotape that was... Uh, telecast earlier be against El Brasero the great Spanish star Stan Stasiak will be on later on on this telecast along with them pro wrestling nice to have you with us all along our professional big time wrestling network be here with us every week same time same station still the front face lock applied by Bulldog Don Kent now, if it's tight enough and it's long enough, Irish could pass out. There's no way that you can hang on to a front face lock like that without causing some severe pain. Particularly with the arms that Bulldog Don Ken has. On the outside of the ring, on the apron, pretty boy Floyd Creechman giving some more advice to Bulldog Kent. Some of the advice is to squeeze it, squeeze it. Well, he's doing that. Bulldog Kent, I don't remember seeing him hang on to a front face lock this long with anyone. Al's Thomas, the referee, right down there to ensure that if Irish wants to give up, call it quits. He'll ring the bell. The victory will go to Bulldog Kent. But Irish is hanging in there. Now Floyd says, ask him whether he wants to give it up or not. The crowd here in the audience is uh, being a little quiet. It's a little different style of wrestling for Bulldog Don Kent. They're used to him uh, moving around that ring a lot. But he's hanging onto a front face lock and doesn't want to give up on it. 
Now Irish, surprisingly enough, is trying to get to his feet. Obviously enough strength left in his body to do that. He's a big man, 285 pounder from Atlanta, Georgia. Beautiful city in Atlanta. Oh, brutal punch to the chest by Kent. There's another one. Irish has a lot of stamina to be able to get back on his feet like that from that front face lock applied by Bulldog Don Kent. Side headlock now applied, and he hangs on, trying to push the chin of Kent back. Punch into the midsection. They certainly have to be weakened, but their punches at that. Big knee lift to the jaw. And now Kent uses him as a punching bag. Picks him up. Al Thomas is saying keep him back away from the turnbuckles. A few kidney chops there. I'm amazed at the punishment that John Irish is taking at the hands of Bulldog Don Kent and continues to wrestle and is able to get back on his feet. Kent still hangs on to that headlock. Pretty boy Floyd getting down now, walking back on the floor. Saying a few words to uh, Bulldog Kent. Now Floyd having a few words to say to the referee. Also, ladies and gentlemen, on this telecast, Mark Lewin will be on board. The great Mark Lewin returning to professional big time wrestling some few weeks ago. Nick DiCarlo from Italy will be here as well. Body slam, knee drop, And another body slam by Bulldog Kent. Knee drop again. Irish is out. He has to be out. Kent could finish it up any time. Just lay across his body and get a one, two, three count. But he continually comes back with that knee drop. He's got him beat. Totally beat. Why must he insist on the continual punishment? Body slam, dead weight that he's picked up on. Now he covers him. One, two. And mercifully, it's all over. Bulldog Don Kent could have taken care of him earlier, but he chose not to. John Irish defeated by Bulldog Don Kent here on Professional Big Time Wrestling.